Hello all my Hello Maniacs out there, welcome back to the channel, it's so great to see you again. Now today we're going to be doing something extra special, we're going to be doing the MCU tier list. People have been asking about this for a while, and I'm here to deliver. Let's talk about some superhero movies, y'all. But before we get into that, I want to do a quick little reminder, the sweepstakes is still going on to win the Disney gift cards. I'm giving away two Disney gift cards, a $50 one and a $100 one. To win the 51, here's what you got to do. Go to the description, download Disney Mosey Blitz, play till you score at least a million points or more in one round. I know that sounds hard, but it's actually pretty easy. Now take that image of your score, post it on Instagram or Twitter, and tag me in it, and that'll be your submission to win that. If you want to be entered to win the $100 one, you have to show me you're at level 50 or higher. Screenshot your homepage, tag me on either Instagram or Twitter, and that's your entry to win that one. The drawing will happen on April 4th. Hope to see you guys there, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so here we are at the tier list. We're gonna start ranking these, but I wanna make sure everyone's clear. S is, this is amazing in one of the greatest superhero movies I've ever seen. A is, it's really good. B is, it's good. C is, that's fine. D is, okay. And F is, yeah, you're one of the worst ones in MCU. But I gotta say this, none are so bad I would never watch them again. There's some that are noticeably not as good. And also I should take this moment to say, I didn't know anything about the comic books or really any superheroes until the MCU. I knew of a couple. I knew of Spider-Man, I knew of the Hulk, I knew of like a few DC characters, but I did watch uh, Teen Titans. I did, I did watch that one. And I watched the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, but that was it. I knew nothing else about superheroes prior to this point. Okay, so we start off the list with Iron Man. Like I said, I had no idea who Iron Man was. I wondered why everyone was freaking out about this movie, but then my friends made me go watch it. So I did, and I walked away going, okay, I get it. And when I saw that mid credit scene, I had no idea what was coming, putting a whole bunch of superheroes together. I remember the audience went nuts, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're doing it, they're doing it. And I'm like, they're doing what? Oh, they're making the Avengers. That means nothing to me. Um, but this was just, it was such a cool time capsule for me to be able to go back and go like, oh, little baby Brian had no idea what was going on. But this movie still like started my love of superhero films. So yep, you are very special for that reason. You're going into A. I can't put you into S, but I'm putting you into A. Then we get to the Incredible Hulk. Now Hulk was one of the characters I knew about and I loved the idea of him. Like, oh, just a giant rage monster who destroys everything. This movie's gotta be great. And no, it's one of the weakest ones that there is. Sorry, Hulk, you are my favorite superhero, but you are not my favorite superhero movie. You gotta go at the bottom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hulk. I love you, but I don't love your movie. Iron Man 2. Definitely, I didn't like it as much as Iron Man 1, but I still thought it was good. So you're gonna go up here and pretty good. <laughs> See how my tier system works out. <laughs> now, when Iron Man 2 and the Hulk came out, I'm like, okay, maybe this superhero craze that I have for a second, maybe it was just Iron Man that I love, you know? These other films aren't quite living up to what I'd hope to see in more superhero films. But then Thor came in, and I don't know what it is. I know a lot of people don't like Thor, but something about Thor latched onto me. I loved the dichotomy between uh, the regalness of Asgard and everything that there was to love about that and then like the chillness of Earth and how it's like you get one hand who's just like almost Shakespearean and the other one that's just like, hey dude, you want some Doritos? <laughs> I loved that juxtaposition and I loved the music. I had the soundtrack and listened to it all the time. Thor was something extra special. So yes, the first Thor movie, that really solidified superhero movies as like, yeah, no, these are cool. Captain America, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I'm missing something with Captain America. And I'm, I don't mean just the first movie, I mean Captain America himself. <laughs> I don't understand because I know so many people like that's their favorite superheroes like they adore Captain America but the whole time I'm watching all of his movies I'm like he doesn't do anything I don't expect him to do and I don't really think he's that interesting <laughs> maybe I'm missing something maybe I am and I'm sorry to all Captain America fans but yeah none of y'all's movies are gonna go really high <laughs> uh, maybe the ones that have everybody else in it along with Captain America but yeah no his standalone movies they're not gonna go very high for me I don't think this movie was bad. It's was, it was fine. And so you're gonna go into the it's fine category. Then we get to the Avengers. Oh, I finally understood why everyone was freaking out about them coming together. Because this movie, 
was one of the coolest things to happen. I think this was in 2012. I remember this being one of the biggest deals. Everyone was freaking out. And like everybody remembers where they were when they started watching the Avengers. And just, oh. And I loved it because it was the first movie that we had a good Hulk in it. That was the first time Mark Ruffalo came in as the Hulk. And I told everybody, it's like, no, this is the Hulk movie. This is the Avengers. This is the Hulk movie. Because he had the best scenes. It was incredible. And because of that, you go straight to S tier, straight to S tier, and you deserve it, Avengers. You deserve it. Okay, now we get to Iron Man 3, and yeah, no, I was never really a big fan of this one. I'm glad that later movies kind of come came in to fix a few things that we had issues with in Iron Man 3, but overall, it just... I don't know. It just, there was something about it that just never quite clicked with me. I didn't really like the Mandarin. I, I liked Trevor. I wish there was more Trevor, which we'll get to that later. The whole movie was like Iron Man saying, I'm not going to be Iron Man anymore. And then, you know, the rest of the MCU happened. So we know that didn't happen. I'm sorry, but you're going in D. That's a, I think it's kind of interesting. We're not even through like, we just got through phase one and uh, there's something in every tier. So this is going to be a pretty robust list. Now we get to Thor Dark World. I can't tell you anything that happened in this, except what other movies in the MCU said happened in them. The second I watch it, I'm like, oh, this isn't so bad. And then I get away and I'm like, I don't remember anything that happened. All I remember is the bad guys are the Dark Elves. Loki turns into a couple of superhero characters that we know. Thor's mom dies, and that's because they say it in Endgame, and uh, he's still dating uh, Jane Foster. Nothing retained up here. No, okay, no, you're going underneath Hulk, because I don't remember anything that happened unless another movie told me it happened. Does anyone else have this problem, or is it just me? Okay, now we get to Winter Soldier. I remember everyone freaking out about this movie, how it was like the greatest superhero movie ever made, and oh, it did so much, and... Maybe because it was too hyped for me or something, or maybe because it's still Captain America, who I just can't get into. Uh, I, th I thought it was pretty good. So yeah, I, I feel good putting you up in low B. Sorry for all you Winter Soldier fans. I know there's a ton of Winter Soldier fans that are screaming at the screen right now. I'm sorry. Which is a good time to remind y'all, this is my list of just my opinions. If, you, if your opinions differ from me in any way, I think that's wonderful. I don't want to take that away from you. You're allowed to like whatever you like on this channel and there's no judgment. Guardians of the Galaxy. I remember seeing the trailers for this thinking this is going to be one of the dumbest movies ever made. Marvel, you have to scrape the bottom of the barrel. Why does your team have a raccoon in a tree? But then I watched the movie and I'm like, okay, at this point, Marvel can sell me cardboard. You guys can make anything fun and entertaining. So much so, this is going to go top of a actually no almost there but i still like the original thor more than you then we got avengers age of ultron and i don't know it just kind of felt like it lost a lot of its luster from the first one but it's still good i would probably put it in high no maybe tier. i liked it more than winter soldier but not more than iron man 2 Ant-Man! Ant-Man was another big surprise for me. Much like Guardians, I thought, oh, this movie's gonna be terrible, but I should know by now, Marvel can just... Marvel can make anything a superhero, and I'll probably like it. It's a lot of fun. I ended up really liking the character, and, um, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's do high beat. Let's do high beat. I can do high beat. Oh, Civil War. Oh, Captain America Civil War. This is the one where we got Spider-Man finally introduced in the MCU and Black Panther. I didn't know who Black Panther was at the time, but who oh, I know now. But yeah, this was a big, momentous movie. And I think everyone thought I was weird because I was Team Iron Man at the time. And they're just like, how could you be Team Iron Man? I'm like, because I like Iron Man. <laughs> I don't really like Captain America. I don't want to be on his side. No, uh, Tony makes some good points, you know? We gotta take responsibility for our actions. And I enjoyed it more than any other Captain America movie because I don't see this one as a Captain America movie. It feels like a mini Avengers movie. But even then, I don't think I can put it in A, but I can put it above Ant-Man and High B. Doctor Strange was a strange movie, pun intended. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect from this, and I didn't hate what I saw, but I definitely didn't love what I saw either. I'm like, okay, this is a character who's now in the MCU. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm, 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 no, I'll put you in fine. I'll put you in fine. I'd rather watch you again than the first Captain America, so it's fine. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Didn't like as much as the first one. 
but still a whole lot of fun and had some great moments. I could put you in high B underneath Civil War. All right, here we go. Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay, got to remember, every Spider-Man movie has home in it. It's really confusing. You got Homecoming, Far From Home, and then No Way Home. So this is the first standalone Spider-Man movie in the MCU where he fights Vulture and you meet MJ for the first time and you meet uh, his friend. Oh, I can't remember his name. Dang it. I like him too. Yeah, no, Spider-Man Homecoming is it's pretty good. I, I, I'd probably put it in A tier. Yeah, I think low A tier is gonna be really good for that one. And everyone's gonna ask me, who's my favorite Spider-Man? It's Tom Holland. Don't get me wrong, I love Andrew Garfield and I love Tobey Maguire, but there's something about Tom Holland's that I just really enjoy. I feel like he's the best of both. He's got a bit more of the comedy from Andrew Garfield, but he still has the nerdiness and the unsuredness and the awkwardness that Tobey Maguire had. Oh, Thor Ragnarok! The best Hulk movie ever! <laughs> I thought Avengers was the best Hulk movie, but then we got Thor Ragnarok. My two favorite superheroes in their own movie, and it's a comedy? Yes, please! Everything about this is just one of my favorite superhero movies, period, of all time. Leaning so heavy into the comedy, I loved that. I know a lot of people didn't, but I loved it when it didn't take itself too seriously. Like, you could still have something as serious as, like, the destruction of Asgard, but you can have a whole lot of fun with it at the same time. So, yeah, Thor Ragnarok, you're going straight to the top. Straight to the top. And the Hulk was just amazing! Black Panther. Now, up until uh, Civil War, I had no idea who Black Panther was. So, I was kind of hoping to get a movie that explained about more about Black Panther. It's more like, okay, well, you've already met Black Panther in Civil War, so we're just picking up straight from there. I'm like, well, can we get some backstory, please? Because he's a very interesting character and I want to know more. But instead, we got a lot about Killmonger. And that's kind of where one of my big issues comes from. But I'm trying to look at it for what the film is and not what I wish it was. But the movie itself is not bad at all. It's very good. I would probably put it, yeah, I'll put, I'll put it at the end of eight here. I'll put it at the end of eight here. Then Infinity War, y'all. I know a lot of people left the theater depressed with Infinity War, but I gotta tell y'all, I thought it was incredible. <laughs> I remember thinking they're gonna try to fit all these Marvel's characters together in one movie. No, you can't make that work. You can't have that many characters in there and it actually be an understandable story and actually be able to have everyone get enough screen time. That's just impossible, but they pulled it off and they pulled it off in spades in my opinion. One of the biggest superhero movie moments in my life and yeah it's going up into s tier um i just don't know if i like ragnar no i like ragnarok more you can't touch ragnarok so now ant-man and the wasp um uh, i remember it being good i haven't watched it in a while but yeah it was good so you're gonna go in b tier i would uh actually put you right next to the first one i thought about you about the same just slightly less I like the first one slightly more, but it's not bad by any means. Uh, Captain Marvel. I remember I really liked it when I first saw it, but over the years, I keep forgetting that it's there. <laughs> I feel bad for that. And I was like, oh yeah, this was a cool movie. I don't, I, I, it's not going into C tier. It's better than fine, but it's not going very high over here either. Okay, we're going to go with my initial gut instinct. I like it more than Winter Soldier. Let's do that. In game. I made sure that I saw this in theaters the weekend it came out. That crowd that I was with, and I'm sure this was every crowd across America, they were screaming and yelling and clapping their hands, and it was an amazing experience. One of the best theatrical experiences I've ever had. This movie is something extra special. Now granted, I actually didn't like the first part of the movie. The first bit of the movie was kind of slow, and time travel's not usually my thing, but I liked the way that they explained it. I don't like Professor Hulk. You know, I like the idea of Bruce Banner being able to control the Hulk, but you need to make the Hulk smash even when he's smart. All this other stuff really bothered me, but I'm like, that infight though, it was so good. I, I will forgive everything else. So yes, Ragnarok has been dethroned. That was something special and something I'll remember for a long time. Now we come to Far From Home and yeah, it was fine. <laughs> I, yeah, I never really got into this one as much. Um, I liked it more than Doctor Strange, but yeah, probably not more than the other ones. So yeah, you're going to go right there and uh, it's fine. Ah, oh, Black Widow. I'm so sorry, Black Widow. Black Widow, much like Black Panther, she was a character that as soon as she showed up in Iron Man 2, I'm like, who is she? 
what is her backstory? What is what led her to being here? And I know that they like explain that, like you know, something to do with Hawkeye and Shield and all that. But I want to see it. This was a movie I was clamoring to have. In 2012, when we got the Avengers movie, I'm like, okay, when is Black Widow getting her standalone movie? Because I want to see this. And then we finally got a Black Widow movie, and it went back to, like, a, what, right after Civil War? But it still felt weird that we were getting it here, when I feel like this movie should have happened, like, during the Civil War era, time of the cinematic universe. I did like her sister, though. Her sister's cool, and I'm glad to see that her sister's going to be doing a lot of stuff in the MCU now. I don't know. I can't say that I loved this one. There were parts that I enjoyed, but overall, it just felt like I wanted this movie to be something else. What we got was just fine. So, yeah, you're going to have to go into the it's fine category. I like Spider-Man more than you. Actually, I liked, uh, liked Doctor Strange better than you, too. But I liked you better than the first Captain America movie. Shang-Chi, y'all. Man. Oh, man, this movie just spectacular. I love the characters. I love the way they fed off each other. I love the fact that this wasn't just some villain who had some mild ties to them, but the villain was his dang father. As I mentioned before, I loved Trevor in Iron Man 3, and we get a lot more Trevor in this movie, and they even fixed some of the mistakes I had in Iron Man 3, so I'm like, okay, you just got brownie points for making Iron Man 3 in D tier and not F tier. <laughs> and on top of that, the movie's just awesome. I could watch this movie over and over again. I just loved it. And so, brrrp, you're going to go up in S tier. So you're sitting up there at number five, Shang-Chi. I hope you enjoy that. Now we get to Eternals. I am kind of dumbfounded that Eternals is a movie. With as many series as Disney Plus is trying to shove out, why wasn't this a Disney Plus series? It makes a lot of sense. You've got like, what, eight people in the Eternals? I think it's like nine, 10, something like that. You got a crud ton of people. And you have one movie to introduce them all? Aside from like three characters, you barely get to know the other ones. They get a little bit of screen time, but at the end of the day, I can't tell you any other names. We had so little time with everybody, I don't feel like I know anybody. I would like to though, they seem interesting, they seem cool, and I'd like to see more. Although I think some of the Disney Plus series really worked, WandaVision was fantastic, Loki was amazing. I feel like Winter Soldier and Falcon could have been a movie. I felt like there was a lot of padding in that. If you made that just one movie, I feel like that would have done better. And same thing with Hawkeye, I felt like there was a lot of padding in that, where if you made that its own movie, I feel like we would have done better with that. But then Eternals needed a series! But that's my opinion. But for what it is, it's fine. So, y'all know the drill. If it's fine, it's gonna go down here. <laughs> and then we get Spider-Man No Way Home. Y'all, this was so special. So, Because like I said, I'd seen the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans before the MCU. And I did watch the Andrew Garfield Spider-Mans when they were happening. And then we have this one. And I got invited to the world premiere of this one. So I was there before the world knew that every Spider-Man was in this one. Especially because I'm at the world premiere. I don't see those actors anywhere. They would not be invited to their own premiere. And then, boom, they show up halfway through the movie. I almost stood up and cheered. Not quite as fun of an experience as I had as in-game in a theater. But it was darn close. It was darn close. So this is one of the most amazing times that I've had in a theater watching a superhero film. So you guys know what that means. It's going into S tier. But where it goes into S tier is... I'd probably put it right there. It's probably going to go at number three. Right next to Thor, Ragnarok, and uh, Infinity War. So that's it. That's my ranking of all the MCU tier lists. I'm sorry for everyone who is mad at my choices, especially about where I keep putting Captain America. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!